right we're back I'll show you this in a minute um, we're gonna be trying this was my first attempt uh, I don't know if you've seen Lord of the Rings um, the eye of Soros is it that was the first attempt but you can see the pupil inside it's not very well formed so the second attempt I kind of cleaned it up a little bit and if you see with a torch take it down a bit kind of see with a torch it kind of lights up a little bit better but you can see there's like a clear section so what I did to, to create that pupil was I made some smaller black cabs out of I think it was this mold and cut them up but due to the kind of injuries you can cause yourself <laughs> the way I did it I'm not going to show you that part but if you've got a, like a small hand tool, like a Dremel or something like that, um, but I kind of used a, a sharp blade, but we're gonna, well, I've prepared mine already, but to, to kind of get rid of that clear area that I had in this one, I've just painted the clear section of the cab with black acrylic paint. So to make these, I made some more different shapes. To make these, it's just the resin in the mold and then black alcohol ink. <clears throat> that's it so but when you cut it what you'll find is there's clear clear inside if you can see look it's there so the black's only sitting on the back don't know if you can see that properly I suppose you could color the resin black with and mix it in but I didn't so this is probably my last tutorial before my wedding in a couple of weeks <clears throat> so I'm gonna kind of try and recreate this one for you and I've got some others that I'm just going to play about with as we go along with different colours. So I've got my resin pre-mixed. All the bubbles are gone. And this again is the Let's Resin. And I'll talk you through the rest as I'm going through. So we're just going to pour this away. We're not going to fill it right up yet. Leave a couple of millimetres. Because we're going to sink the cab into it I'll go with these ones here not too much again thanks for all the support you're all amazing and the subs uh, subscribers tongue twisted then and I did have another idea with this if you want to try it I'm not going to do it today because I'd already planned this tutorial I'll go with one of these smaller ones and I've just got a bit of a speck in this I'm going to try one of these ones a bit of a speck of something I think I'll go with this one here as well I don't know what these ones are going to turn out like but again like I say it's all the fun of playing right so just going to just click blast just in case there are any little bubbles and all we're gonna do again I've already prepared this one we're just gonna pop that into the resin <coughs> and then we'll just use our cocktail stick to just maneuver it around and keep moving it around because you'll have bubbles on the underside of the pupil part that we've just dropped in and just keep moving that around and then we want to get it lined up still some more bubbles in there get out
Just line it up like so. I had to pause the video back. Right, so I've done different shapes. So you can just, what you can do, like I was gonna, I was gonna touch on it earlier, is you could set one of these in, say, one of these ones, color that one, and then demold it, and then put it in there, so you've got the whiter outer area, the color, then the pupil. So, but I'm not gonna do that today. So we're just gonna have a play. I'm gonna put the round one in this one. Again, just sink it down. Got something stuck in the bottom of this one as well. Just maneuver it around. And then get it centered. This one needs moving a little bit. <coughs> For this one, these ones here, just I've got a smaller one. I'm just going to sink that one down. So, got some bigger, it's probably a little bit too big for that one. Just move the, any bubbles that you can see, just agitate them up. Like so. We'll stick the slightly smaller one in this one. It's gone in upside down. It's just it, I kind of still use the the ink effects that I normally do, but I just thought this was something a little bit different. Um, do do do. We've got this one here. We're gonna go with this oval shape inside this one. That looks like that could be a good one actually. Again, thanks for tagging me on the Let's Resin Facebook groups. It's incredible seeing what some of you are creating. Obviously, I get mega busy with messages and tags and stuff. I do try and keep up. Um, but with the wedding plans and stuff like that, it's hard sometimes to keep up with everything. I do try. Right, what have we got left? This one here. What have I got? This one's probably too big. But I don't want to waste the resin. Right, let's try and give you a bit of a close up as to what I've done. So that's that's it so we're ready now we're just going to give it another quick tap blast of my torch just to make sure there's no more bubbles doesn't matter if there's some bubbles stuck on the back of the black cabochons because you won't see them so we're going to start with this one to kind of get that I think it's more like a dragon eye to be honest. Before I do that, again, I know I say this every tutorial, this is just the sea deeper. 
that's all it is and that comes in the vibrant set it comes in the concentrated set or you can buy it as a twin two bottles of this in one box and that's what this is I can still get so many so many questions and messages asking what what this is and again if you're not sure always check the video des description because I put all the products in there for you right so we're gonna start dropping we I'm going to go with the yellow first. In this one. Now we're just going to go with the red. This is the dark, dark red. Just around and just let that do its thing for a minute. Now with this one, I think I'm going to go with some blue. And I think I'm going to try just using the blue with white kind of on its own and on top of the blue. And then what I'm going to do when that's time to stir is I'm going to draw that white around the blue. Should be a pretty cool effect. I say you can go with anything you want. So for this one, I'm going to go with a drop of green and then a drop of white opposite, and then I'm going to hit the green with the white, which is going all over my hands. This one, I'm literally just making this up as I go along. I'll go with purple, and again, a white on its own, and then on top of the purple. What other colours can I use? Let's have a look in my box. Let's go with a peach red in this one. Again. Just play around and see what happens. Let's pick another colour. Um, orange. Then we've just got these three left up here. Let's mix things up a little bit. Let's go with, let me just lock my focus so my hand doesn't take the focus away. Let's go with a purple and a dark red. And this one, dark red and a yellow. And then we're just gonna hit those both with the white. And this one, go with a green and blue, yeah, sky blue. And again, just tap those with the white. So now we just need to see where we need to finish off. So this one's got some negative space so we're going to go back in with some more yellow in the center and then just a bit more of the red and now we're going to tap that with the white going to go with the yellow first and then the reds and just see what happens this one here i'm not going to put any more in This one here, 
we've got some negative space again we're just going to put a bit more peach red in there a bit more of the white and just let that dance this one was the orange wasn't it I almost put red in there again then right orange a bit more white purple one I think I'm not going to add any more purple I'm just going to try and whoops dropping ink everywhere now with this one I'm just going to add some white all over right so I'm not going to drop any more on those this one's got some negative space but I'll stir that around in an hour this one here is still I want some more yellow just to give it more of a fiery effect and then dance away Again, thanks to those who have sponsored. You'll find your name in the community tab. Massive thank you for the support. It's very much appreciated. Right, so we are going to come back in my usual one hour. And we're going to stir things up. See you soon. It's not been an hour. It's been like 30 seconds. But I had a little bit of a brainwave. And I'm not sure if it's going to work. Um, I've got a little bit of leftover resin. And I've got this cab here. And what I had the brainwave. Was because if you look. Inside this mould. Let's try and get you closer without losing focus see that stringy leftover stuff was from my last cabochons I made and it made me think of kind of like a bloodshot eye so I'm making this up as I go along I'm going to try and get that into this circle mould make use of it so we don't like leftovers do we we just kind of want to stick it to the side stay and then we're just gonna out of this one that I've just poured this is just this is just me playing around I'm just gonna try and draw this could turn out really cool. I'm just going to draw some kind of. It's kind of separating a little bit as well, so I'm not sure what it's going to do. But this could be the best part of this tutorial. Right, this could go terribly wrong as well when I pour the resin in. It could just all mix up everywhere, which I think it's going to. You see how it's all just blurring now. But, you don't know until you try, do you? And then we're going to pop that in. I think if I, if, it, if I had enough of just the stringy dried stuff from last time, it would have been really cool. But because that red is still fresh, it's probably just all going to blur. 
can see all this stuck as well. Let's just draw that around. And I'm just going to leave that as it is, just as an experiment. You never know. Right, that's it this time. We'll be back in an hour. See you soon. Right, we're back. It's been about an hour. This one's still looking okay. But what I'm going to do now is just with this red that's kind of blobbed. <coughs> focus. Is just see if I can draw these kind of lines in it now. And I can't believe when I started this, I've seen Lord of the Rings so many times and you've probably already started telling me in the comments, it's Sauron, isn't it? I said Saurus for some reason. I really don't know why I've seen the film so many times. Sorry if you've already typed it and corrected me, but I watched it back and I, I, I said to myself, Daniel, that's unreal. Yeah, I've even named it in pictures that I've put up on Facebook. It's probably just tiredness. No! I snapped my stick. Rest in peace, stick. Let's continue to use your broken body. Just see if I can kind of just get some crazy. This could be a good Halloween idea. I think I'll leave it with that. I've got some cool effects. I mean this is this is just this was just a makeup idea at the time, but this could be worked on. Somebody might have done it in the past, I don't know. Right, so let's lock my focus. And we're gonna start down here. So what I wanna do let's move this up a little bit is kind of create that outer yellow that goes around its pupil. So I'm drawing this yellow around the pupil. Let's go a little bit deeper. Yes. So that's that one done. Now this one I said I was going to draw the white through the blue, didn't I? So we're going to start there. Could have done with a bit more white, I think. And then we move over. Lock focus. I'm going to draw the white through the green. And this one, the white through the pink. And this one was the clear one, wasn't it? So I said I was going to draw around. I've put too much white in that. I can see through there already that it's sunk quite a lot. But we'll find out when we demold. We've got this one. And then we're left with these three here. So this one just draw the blue around the green. Just hope I've done them big enough because I can't see the, the pupils, the cabs. Can't remember the sizes now that I put in to each one. But again, it's similar to what I normally do with the stir after about an hour. So, we're going to leave that there and come back for the demold. See you soon. Right, we're back for the demold. I'll save this one till last. And this one, I think, we'll start up here. Again, I'm not sure what these are going to come out like. Mm. Let's try and focus in. See, what you could now do with that is set that into one of the larger circles or the ovals 
and then thinking about it just use white and then when it comes to doing the, the hour wisp dip the needle into some red I mean I'll let you guys experiment with that be interesting to see some of your results as well sorry jiggling the camera around this one Let's focus kind of see again and again you could drop that one into a larger mold I think that would be ideal for this because it kind of looks a bit silly kind of takes over doesn't it over this one oh the rain started now that's pretty cool it's not too big So I'm thinking about continuing the video after this and use these as part of the next stage, which I'm going to do actually. I'm, I'm going to do what, I, what I've said and just see what kind of a finished effect I can get with these ones. It's funny, there's a bit of a blob of green on, on the front of that one. I don't know how that's happened. pretty cool might try and collab with some um, I'm collabing with some wire wrappers but I might I'm thinking about um, clay artists could use these in some of their models again that's quite large that one Some cool spores around that. Right, let's go with this blue one. Crazy effects. Again, there's another little blue. Oh, let's see what this looks like under the torch. See, imagine kind of like this, but inside that, obviously without the blue, but add the white. Do you see what I mean? I'm going to go with this one next. Could add a background to the back of it. And I think a smaller pupil, maybe, but you can kind of see it's got like a Halloween -y vibe to it, I suppose. Could be done a lot better. White resin, maybe. It's all games. Right, and this is the one, the main piece that I was excited to try again. And there you go. So much more formed this time. And let's just see what this one looks like with the light behind as well. Just get that down there. Yeah. And now there's not there's a tiny little clear patch if you look. Let's try and bring you in. Just at the top there. I must have missed it with the acrylic. But that is still the prize of the D mold so far. But now I'm gonna extend this tutorial and show you what I mean about using those cabs I know it's a long-winded process but you know if you batch make these it'd be pretty cool right I'm gonna stop and continue with the next stage right so next stage we're going to start with this one I think now I was thinking of mixing the white in with the resin but then if it sinks and covers the color in the cavachon it's gonna ruin it so I'm gonna do the white background um, the white will spore down a little bit but it's not going to matter too much 
So we're just gonna check for the little bubbles first. Just move them out of the way. And then we're just gonna slide this in. Again, just move it around, make sure that no bubbles are kind of stuck on the front. And then just get it centered. Like that. And then I've got my white, give it a shake. And then I'm just gonna drop this around don't want too much because otherwise the white will sink down and it will probably kind of spore over and around the the piece that we've just put in so we've got another one here again don't overfill because you need to put the cabochon in this one we're gonna go with this one so we're going to go with this one, try and get it the right way. I should have marked it really. So we want the oval part to be in the right place. It's just in there. Kind of need to centralise that a little bit more. I'm really worried that's going to be wonky. Let's flip it over and have another sneak peek. I think that'll be okay. And again, just with the white. I'll go a bit more in this one because it's empty round the sides and we go with the round one and then we'll go with this other green one Move it around for the bubbles. And then in with the white again. And I think that will do. Wonder if it'd be a bit odd, wouldn't it? An eye and a heart. Yeah, I won't try that one today. Right, so we're now gonna let these ones cure. What I'll do is I'll come back. It's a bit of color that's dropped in there. Let's get that out before it ruins it. What I can. So what I'll do is I'll come back <laughs> in another in another hour and just check them and maybe try and get some red in just to see. Um, I'm just going to put some more in this in the empty space and hope it doesn't ruin it. Right, longer video than normal I think. See you soon. Uh, so it's been about an hour. I've got just some red alcohol ink in this small little part of the mould. Not sure how this is if this is even going to work. I'm just going to dip and then kind of just draw little lines of it. Hopefully the red doesn't blur. Oh, I'll just move the cab then. I can't see now if I've moved it too far. Hopefully it's still in the right place. I 
think I need to push it down a little bit more. Time will tell. And I'm not going to do this one with the red, just in case the other one doesn't come out okay. Just going to give it a quick stir around. I've got to put my gloves on. Obviously, I'm not touching the resin. Just give it a good stir. Right, that's it. See you for the demold again. Second demold. See you in a bit. Right, we're back for the demold. Let's see if it's worked. Wow. Look at that. And you can see where I've drawn the veins in. Kind of a bit of a bloodshot look. That's really cool. Oh, what I did earlier with one that I'd already done. Um, I just added a reflection on there, but you could probably add that to the black cab. I'm not very good with paints and stuff. It's just acrylic over the top. But I don't know. You could play that with whatever you want. That is really cool. And this one. I think this one's going to be wonky. Which it is. But. I think. It's still cool. Whichever way up. I think that way. To be honest. But it's just to show you guys anyway. And again, if you're liking the tutorial, click the sub down there. Support the channel if you haven't. And to those who have, thank you very much. Oh, wow. So you can imagine how these could be used in like other arts or things like that. I mean, that's quite, quite freaky really, isn't it? The detailing around the pupil, the iris. It's really cool. A little bit too big though, but we can play about with that in time. So favourites of the tutorial. I mean, that's definitely my favourite. That one's wonky, but it's good. And we got the blue. That one was okay. Mm, ish. I wish I'd done that one now into the bigger molds mm, still not keen on that that needs some kind of more work doing to it anyways i'm going to stop waffling on um as i say this will be my last tutorial for a little while so i'll be back with new content after the wedding thanks for watching see you soon